Genesis. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Besides, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, though not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. He lived in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. Then the young woman ran and told her mother's household about these things. And the servant brought out jewelry of silver and of gold and garments and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave to her brother and to her mother costly ornaments. Her brother and her mother said, Let the young woman remain with us a while, at least ten days. After that she may go. Then Isaac brought her into the tent of Sarah, his mother, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. But Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, my brother Esau is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice, and go, bring them to me. So he went and took them and brought them to his mother, and his mother prepared delicious food, such as his father loved. Let peoples serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be everyone who blesses you. Arise, go to Paddan Aram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take as your wife from there one of the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. Thus Isaac sent Jacob away, and he went to Paddan Aram, to Laban, the son of Bethuel the Aramean, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother and that Jacob had obeyed his father and his mother and gone to Paddan Aram. Now as soon as Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, Jacob came near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. In the days of wheat harvest, Reuben went and found mandrakes in the field and brought them to his mother Leah, then Rachel said to Leah, Please, give me some of your son's mandrakes. Please deliver me from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, that he may come and attack me, the mothers with the children. But when he told it to his father and to his brothers, his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow ourselves to the ground before you? And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your youngest brother, of whom you spoke to me? God be gracious to you, my son. And we said to my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a young brother, the child of his old age. His brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother's children, and his father loves him.